Thousand Identity Theft Scams reported last month, with Australians losing $26 million. The total money lost is now $192 million, compared to $175 million for all of 2020. Most victims are aged... The vehicle became airborne and crashed onto a popular path just centimetres from a cyclist. A dangerous detour on a South Yarra bike track after an accused drug driver's dice with death. We just don't know what's happened. It just, what, came from out of space? Hmm. I, st I, I looked up and there was an upside-down car airborne in front of my face. The car rolled down a steep embankment before becoming wedged. There's a girl walking too, very lucky. She was pretty uh, shaken. The Volkswagen Polos are designed to fit into tight spaces, just not like this. And they say that uh, riding a bike is a healthy thing. I don't know yet. Sorry about Nelly, seven years. What a dangerous <laughs> Major surf with forecasters expecting the storm to strengthen. A grandmother with dementia has been found safe and well in a backyard after going missing for a day and a half. A frantic search was launched when 86-year-old Margaret... During lockdown, families are being urged to make care crows and put them on display in their front yards. Care crows, a grassroots movement to scare... Anything to help at the moment. Jane Bunn joins us now. Jane, it was a bit of a murky Friday out there. Mitch in the sky was great. There's a potential game changer when it comes to dealing with concussion in sport. Next, a simple test with rapid results. Also, the fallout over a synagogue showdown. See how worshippers evaded police. 20 years after September the 11th. That stuff next. Rooftops to sneak into the Rip and Lee building. Police have issued four more fines of over five thousand dollars each, taking the total to eleven. A man has also been charged with assaulting a TV news cameraman during scuffles outside the synagogue. Conundrum. Oh, Lord! Oh. Now beyond the tip of your finger. We're seeing the dawn of an exciting new area of biomarkers. The new device hopes to detect if the major head knock has caused concussion and just how severe it is. Currently, what we are attempting to design. Mm. Diagnosing concussion relies on the patient's self-reported symptoms. When past the holding up a finger and I'm holding up three fingers, and you can go back out and about follow my finger, no, that's. The Red 1990 Porsche 944 should be fairly easy to spot on the road. The thieves had tried to break into several other cars in the street before stealing the distinctive looking vehicle. It's been 20 years, but it's still hard to believe. Out there, it can be a game changer. 
Five next weekend. First dips will go to the busiest pharmacies already administering the AstraZeneca jab. And they will more often than not be in hot spot areas because there has been a high demand. Ten million doses are on their way this year by mid-October. So it is windy again. A stronger front moves through on Saturday into Sunday, and in behind that is some bitterly cold air. So northerly winds strengthen again tonight and tomorrow, but they only reach damaging levels about the central and eastern range. On the hills, yes, we're going from 26 in Melbourne yesterday to snow on the hills on Sunday. If we're having a cheering season and it turns cold, wet, and windy enough to pose a risk. 
BBC Two will be back tonight from five. For continuous news coverage, go to Tom and Ben News Talk 24. And don't miss any of the fun from six with ABC for Kids.